Welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we are ranking Within Temptation albums from my least favourite to my favourite Within Temptation Dutch Symphonic Metal Masters. And believe it or not, this is the first band I ever saw live. The first band I ever saw live was Within Temptation. So I love them. I love Sharon's vo vocals. They are majestic. They are angelic. Beautiful. All throughout. They have a lot of different eras as well. More rocky era more symphonic era and the fucking first album which is like death doom holy shit beautiful discography i'll tell you right now i like every album i like every album they're one of those bands i like i like symphonic metal a lot nightwish love pretty much all their albums epica love all their albums within temptation love all their albums amaranth yeah you get the gist they're all good but within temptation is pretty top of the castle for me pretty top of the castle alongside epica Sharon's vocals can't be beat. So, enough gushing about the band. Before I get started with my list, let me know down below, how would you rank within Temptation albums? Let me know, and I guess let's just get stuck in. So again, I do not hate these albums. It's just where they land on the list, so last up is Hydra. Catchy album, fun album, loads of cool guest spots on this album. This is in the more rocky period of the band, and you can kind of tell where I come from with my taste as you see the ranking unfold. This is on the more rocky side of it. The production's a bit subpar compared to Resist and compared to The Unforgiving. Uh, I don't know what it is about the production, it's a bit weak, but the songs are catchy as hell. Radioactive, I love, I love Radioactive. It's one of the singles and I think that's really fun. What about Us with Taja from Nightwish? Beautiful, one of the best Within Temptation songs. Catchy as all hell, Let Us Burn is fun as well. Hydra's a great album from start to finish, it just, Something has to come last, man. Something has to come last, and for my taste, the rocky stuff isn't as good as the symphonic stuff, so it's coming here. Next up is The Unforgiving, I know, I know. Another one of the rocky albums, and people love this one. People put this number one, say it's the best within Temptation album, and I say, good for you, I love this album, but it's not even fucking close to the, to the majesty of the earlier albums, in my opinion. I got into them from those early albums, Mother Earth and The Heart of Everything was where I got into them, and Silent Force and Enter, so you know, you know where it's going. But I still really enjoy this album. I do really enjoy this album. I think it is a step up from Hydra. I know it came before, but I think it's a step up because the sound quality is really good on this one. It's more energetic. The first half of this album kicks you right in the balls. It does. It's energetic as hell. It's like they took speed in the first half of this album kind of mellows out near the second half and I do think the strongest songs are all in the first half but those songs man they kick so much ass also this album's a heavy album it's one of the heaviest albums they've done it's one of the fastest albums they've done as well and songs like in the middle of the night fun as all hell so yeah I can get why people like this one a lot if you like the more pop rocky kind of direction they went this is one of the best so yeah it's coming here Next up is Resist, Supernova, Supernova. This caught me by surprise, I really enjoyed this one. The king of the pop rock era, in my opinion. The songs are all catchy, I know Metal Meltdown hates this one, so he'll have a heart attack watching me applaud it. I loved it when it came out, I love it now. Supernova is still one of the best songs of the year. I, it's still stuck in my head, as soon as I say it, it's stuck in my head. There's great instrumentals on this one as well. Great guest spots. Raise Your Banner. Oh, what a fun song with Anders from In Flames. Great vocals with Anders. Holy shit, I loved it. And The Reckoning with Jack Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach is a catchy song. Lots of good ones on this. Lots of catchy, upbeat moments. And, you know, it's a fun album. You just want to put something on, have some fun. This is the album to go to. I really enjoyed it, so yeah, Resist, it's coming here. Next up is Enter, the debut by Within Temptation. This one's way different. We're going from pop rock to like, God, I don't even know, like Death Doom. There's growls on this one. A lot of the songs on this album, there's death growls. It's very gothic-y, very doomy, kind of like Paradise Lost in a lot of the songs. Hell yes, hell yes. This one took me a while to enjoy. This one is a grower. It's not a show, it's a grower and it does deserve your patience and it rewards it with a beautiful album her voice 
My, my one complaint is her voice is a bit more subdued on this. It's still fantastic, but it's not quite as operatic as it is in some albums to come. So that's probably my only complaint, but because it's so gothic -y and doomy, it kind of fits with the mood and the music. So, and it's got that duality between her voice and the growls, so Enter is an underrated album, and it's one I keep going back to because you, sh you should go back to it too. You know, give it some more love, because I know a lot of people put this last. It's not last. It's fucking amazing. Next up is The Heart of Everything. This is, you kind of started to see the shift towards a more rocky direction, but it still has those symphonic flares on this album. That's what I love about it. It's a duality. It's the mix between the symphonic and the rock, and it does it perfectly. So one of the, I think, is it my, th I think this was the album that got into the band, so I love every song on here. The Howling, so fun opening up with those heavy drums. What have you done now? And then it comes in, that chorus, oh. So many catchy songs on this album. Our Solemn Hour, with that kind of chanty chorus. Santos, Espidos, da 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 Come on, fun. You gotta sing along to it. It's, it's a catchy album, it's a fun album. There's a few ballads which kind of drag it down a little bit. Um, they do kind of make it not quite as amazing as two other albums we'll get to, but come on. I can't hold that against it, that there's like one or two songs that I'm kind of like, eh, they're pretty good. The rest are certified bangers. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a 9 out of 10. I love this album, got me into the band. All the songs are catchy and fantastic. Santos, Espiritos. Come on. It's the heart of everything. It's great. Coming in at number two. You took my heart, deceived me right from the start. Questy, no. No singing. No singing, Angels, one of the greatest songs ever fucking made. This Silent Force has so many amazing songs on. So many amazing songs. Aquarius, come on, how good is Aquarius? Aquarius and Angels, two of the best Within Temptation songs they've ever written. Memories as well. This has like some of the best works on and it's not even my number one. This is some of the best works on, it's not even my number one. But these two are always gonna be neck and neck for me, but one edge is out the other. This one's still fantastic, and I definitely think people should check this one out in the heart of everything, because my number one pick might not be to everyone's cup of tea. It is to me, but it might not be for everyone. So, let's get to my number one. My favorite album within, within Temptation is Mother Earth. Mother Earth, of course, it is. it's the most symphonic album. It's similar to that of um, Once by Nightwish, probably not as progressive, um, or some a lot of like the ballady epica songs. So if you like anything like that, you'll love this album. She sings the most beautifully on this album. Songs like Ice Queen, Mother Earth, they're they're so good. Until the end of time, do 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 do. In perfect harmony. How good and catchy and melodic is that song as well? And the never ending story. It brings tears to my eyes. These are the best collection of songs. I know Silent Force said, I said that they had the best collection. These do as well. This album floors me. This album floors me. It's 10 out of 10. I adore it. It's always been my favourite. It always will be my favourite. So yeah, Mother Earth is my favourite Within Temptation album of all time. So, what did you think of my list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you prefer the more rocky side of Within Temptation? Do you prefer the more mellow side, like me? Or are you kind of in between? Or you, do you only like the debut? Only the Death Doom debut? Let me know down below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.